the other, you know, whatever's left there and, and get you some, you know, silver pointage. Because when it comes down to the currency crisis, when currencies are revalued against the metal that the countries hold, uh, you know, the, the United States has probably come out going to, you know, if they were honest, which I don't expect them to be, but if they were honest, I'd expect them to come out and say, hey, we got about 50 tons of gold left. And we got to back 1.5 quadrillion in, uh, in currency that's been created, issued, debted, derivatives, all that crap. You do those valuations, I mean, gold is infinite. Uh, against this paper that's been printed. I mean, it's what's 50 tons against 1.5 quadrillion? <laughs> it's an astronomical number. I'm sure it's probably shit, couple couple million, 50 million an ounce or something. I, I've not worked the math out on that. But when Russia and China come out and say, hey, we got 10,000 tons to back, you know, a trillion and currency that's been issued, then, you know, our dollar, our dollar is gonna look like the yen does to us. You know, like, uh, it'll take $100 to buy one gold back yuan, you know, and if that yuan is only backed by, a, you know, a hundredth of an ounce or a thousandth of an ounce of gold, or grams, or grains. <laughs> If the yuan is backed by one grain of gold <laughs> and the dollar, at, you know, it takes a hundred dollars to buy one grain. Um, you know, it's all coming down. And, and like Peter said, prepare as if the crash were to come tomorrow because we don't know. Uh, it could come this fall, it could come this winter. Um, I don't think it'll happen while the uh, the Fed is in transition between Bernanke and uh, Janet Yellen. The other thing that I have to say that is if, you know, I, I know a little bit about Larry Summers' uh, background. He's the other contestant for the Federal Reserve Chairmanship. Uh, I know a little bit about his background and, uh, you know, the creation of the derivatives and everything else. And he's a horrible choice. But Peter Schiff says that Janet Yellen would be an even worse choice. Well, if history teaches us anything, the government will always make the worst choice possible. So if Janet Yellen is the worst choice, she will be the next Federal Reserve Chairman. And um, the basic idea is, is you can either be a part of this fiat currency system you know where they control the issuance of the currency they control you know what digits are where and what account and it can be wiped out at any time or you can take your hard-earned paper dollars and trade them in for silver and gold and uh, actually have something of real value uh, that cannot be rehypothecated or inflated away so that's it <laughs>